Hello and welcome. Um, I am here today playing a brand new. Well, it's not brand new. It's sort of um, just adjust that. Sorry. Um, a game. Um, an actual full price game. Well, it's not. Full, I, I'm lying when I say it's a full price game. It's an indie game that I um that I bought, and um, I'm gonna play it for everybody. It's called I Bomber, and I bought the package, so um, it'll be I Bomber and I Bomber Two. Um, so that should be pretty good. Not I Bomber Two. I Bomber Pacific even. So let's. Uh, it's a, I need to start a campaign. Um, I I tested out the first level, sort of. Um, I'm gonna play it on rookie because I have no idea what I'm doing. And let's let's hit this shit up. So this is sort of like a world domination game with tower defense inbuilt, and it just it seems pretty goddamn fucking amazing. So um, let's start the first level. Um, so it's a tower defense game. That is literally all I know at the moment. Um, so I looked at this, <coughs> right, okay, so you've got machine guns for close range and heavy weapons for, um, like, tanks and stuff, so we're going to put um, machine gun down, like, here, and uh, when does it say when the wave's coming in? Oh, God, they're moving in now. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. Uh, let's get another one. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is fairly simple at the moment. So just got some uh, guys walking in. I'm gonna, I'm assuming it's gonna get a bloody lot harder. Uh, my cash, I've got more money to put down. Uh, I think you can upgrade towers as well, and you unlock loads of towers later on. So it's, hopefully it will be a good game. Cause I, I've never really um, played a paid-for tower defense game. Oh, and there you go, you can upgrade them. So I'm probably gonna upgrade this kill point for now. Uh, easy stuff. Um, oh, next wave coming in. I didn't even see them walking in the first time. Not gonna lie. Mowing them down with machine guns. Has it got a health bar or is that just me? Oh god, I think. Oh yeah, it does. Oh god, so they take. Uh, so they can take damage, right? That's that makes things potentially very interesting for uh, more difficult rounds if your towers can be destroyed. I've never, I've never really had. To, that's a difficult thing to deal with. <coughs> um, you have to proper be aware of what's going on so you know, your towers don't get destroyed. You have to have money. To, be prepared to repair them. Be prepared to repair. as a bit of terrible grammar upgrade, right? So what's that gone and done? It's two stars. I have no idea. It looks different. Oh god, I haven't got any of these yet. Jesus Christ, that was close. <coughs> oh. Oh god, this is gonna be. Oh god, that was close. I need to get one of these. Really, I didn't. I forgot about vehicles. Uh, wave five. Uh, my mice, my mouse seems to be like having a seizure. If it's flashing really fast on your screen, then I'm sorry. <laughs> um, hopefully, it's not too distracting. So, just more infantry. This is alright. I'm guessing the troops get gradually harder. Did it, how much? Did, it doesn't really say much about them at the moment. But this is the very first mission, and I think it's just sort of a tutorial mission. So let's. Ch oh, got quite a good. Is that a good score? I have no idea if that's a good score or not. I'm not gonna lie. I have absolutely no clue. I'm gonna try and save up 50 quid to get um, one of these. Oh Jesus! Because because we're gonna have loads of vehicles, and I probably need one to sort of take any stragglers down. They're slower firing, but they do more damage, I think. And God, that is loud explosions. Right here we go. Uh, oh God, they got quite a good range on these things. Right, I'm gonna put it down here. Am I? Yeah. So that um, if any get near the finish, then I can take them out, which I reckon they will now. I reckon some will get past surely. Nearly. Yeah, one of one of them's gonna get past if they're sending in hundreds like that. Or oh, maybe not. Nope. Oh, they've got a pretty effective setup here. Not bad. But only on wave eight, so I'm guessing it's gonna get a lot harder um, quickly. Right, wave nine. Oh god, yeah. See, they're coming in clumps now. Uh, right. Oh. I like the way in this game though there is a lot of space for you to like choice where you can put your towers. It's not just like you have a tower spot here, you have a tower spot there, you have a tower spot there. You can you can literally place them pretty much wherever you want, which I reckon will be effective later on in the game. God, those explosions are loud. Well, they may not be to you, but to me they're they're, they're hurting my ears. Um, this is easy at the moment. Hopefully, I get a perfect round or whatever it is. Uh, do I want to get enough one of these bad boys just in case? And stick it up here somewhere. That might be a good idea, I reckon. As, and then we might actually get to see a bit of action. Hopefully. Oh god, yeah, they take it. They are taking damage. They really are. 
So, there's not a lot though, so it should be fine. I'm guessing if there's like lots of explosions in a certain area, they take a bit of damage. Um, I'm guessing that's how it works. Oh, I've got enough one now. Right, let's stick him there. Oh, that should be good. Let's see what this guy does. So it's like um, an artillery tower. I think you get more later and there'll be along the bottom bar. That you can... Oh god, that is pretty good, yeah. Well, that's like... It's, it's slow to reload, though. Mowing them down. This shouldn't be too bad. So it's good for taking out clumps, but it's probably better for taking out... Yeah, these sort of things. I see how it fares. Oh god, yeah, that's that's far better. Go on, shoot. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See, these would have easily got past if I didn't have those now. So that's, that's probably good, quite a good choice for a... Uh... Right, shall I upgrade something? I've got to repair it. Oh, so you have to repair before you can upgrade as well. That's probably a fairly good feature. Um, and I can only upgrade to level 2 so far. So maybe you get better upgrades later on in the game. A bit like Kingdom Rush that I was playing. But this is probably more in depth, I'd imagine. As I, it's actually like a cost game. Um, oh, we're not doing too badly though. Wave 14 so far of the first level. Not as fairly easy. Easy going, tutorial level. Um, right, okay. How can I skip? Oh, I think you can fast forward, but um, I probably don't want to risk it as I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet and I don't want to balls it up. That'd be a pain if I did. Um, and should we upgrade this guy? Why the hell not? God, he, that looks pretty powerful. We may get to see some action of that later. If it doesn't reload in time. Oh, no, it's pretty good reload time. They are get No, oh, they're nearly, nearly one got through. Um, we'll see how much more damage it does when you've got this. Alright, can I go next wave? Oh, yeah, there we go. You can speed up a little bit. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure I should get a perfect level. And I, I'm guessing you get, like, overall campaign points and stuff, and you've got to try and conquer the world. Or, sort of, you're being amb... And I'm guessing you've invaded a country... You've set a base and they're trying to take it back every mission. That's that's the kind of way it works. Because it's a similar way to how Kingdom Rush works. You had to try and get all the way around the the world map. Um, oh God. Right, next wave. There we go. Boom. I'm destroying them all. So yeah, this is a pretty cool game. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to get a lot more... Oh, listen, that is a lot of damage. Uh, oh, God, they're getting through now. This could be a bit close. As long as it reloads in time, it's fine. That's the only thing I'm worried about, because these are quite slow fire in towers. That's why they got through. Right. Um, do I want more of these? Probably. Maybe. Oh, but there's not... The infantry aren't getting through, so... Oh, God, I didn't even mean... Oh, for God's sake. It's only worth 12 to sell, that's terrible. Um, didn't really, I'll put it there. So these are sort of like fast little jeeps, I'm guessing. Oldie style. I'm guessing this is like um, World War II sort of era. With the sort of... God, there's just loads of explosions going on everywhere. Right. We'll just clear up this uh, first level and then see what the next one's like. See if it's any harder. Well, it's going to be harder. And it, see if I unlock anything. More to the point. Hopefully I unlock something, that'd be cool. Come on, blow it all up. Kaboom! Yeah, these these definitely look like sort of old World War Two sort of style open top jeeps that they had um, a lot of the the Nazis and the British had them. So I, I don't know if there's any sort of story to this, but I think there's quite a few missions. Oh, last wave. Should we get? Let's get another one of these and speed it up. And we'll, we'll play level, f um, speed it up, see what it's like. Oh my god, what the- oh my Jesus Christ, this is insane. Ah, oh, it's just noise, it's just noise. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and they're tanks. Oh yeah, they're, god, they're, they're shooting at my towers. So I'm going to guess that's, that's definitely going to have an effect later on in the game, a big effect. So I'm guessing you can build barricades and all sorts of stuff. So, oh my god, this is going to be difficult later on. But, um, mission score, I got a perfect round. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And a score of 18,139, so it's not too bad. Ah, okay, right, yeah, so I can unlock stuff. Um, so after completing level, you receive victory points and to upgrade weapons. Your available points are shown below. Okay, so I have, uh, click the weapon icons for brief descriptions. Use the plus and minus buttons. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, click the sign to confirm 
Right, so I have two points this time. So what does this do? It's not telling me. Oh, I need unlock one point. Um. Oh, I didn't even mean to. Oh, Jesus. So what does this even do? It's not telling me. Sabotage. What the hell does this do? Uh, it looks pretty good though. Um, an AA tower. That's obviously take out aircraft. Um, comms, buy, repair. I'm guessing these are just sort of cheaper things. Um, oh, is this not telling? It doesn't want to tell me. I'm right clicking, but it's not doing anything. Okay, right. Uh, I think it's probably best to upgrade air because it's all you need. You always need something to protect yourself from air. I mean, God, air, air always gets you. And um, perfect. Oh, and it is keeping my campaign score, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is this is just the whole world map here. Okay, so these, so I've, so I'm blue. I'm assuming, and the rest of the world is red. And this sort of highlighted area is where I've got to go to next. So, Western Med. I don't know what Med's short for. Uh, Mediterranean. Oh yeah, of course, the islands, aren't they? What am I about? Or are they islands? Is that land? I can't tell if it's like. Never mind. No, that like, no, that is the water because like, that's Italy there. So yeah, th these islands with conquering next. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully you like this game. Um, it's obviously only the very start, so it's going to obviously get far more interesting. And um, yeah, oh god, yeah, there's a Russian Soviet thing over there. Um, but uh, please come back for the next episode. Subscribe, and I have um, this and I bomber Pacific. So Pacific, I did say that right, Pacific. And um, I'm going to play through both of them because they look like pretty good games. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and come back for the next part. Goodbye.